second base. Ron Darling, the kid from Millbury, Massachusetts. Big man on campus at Yale, and now he's a big man in New York. Let's meet him and go to Marv Albert. Thank you, Vin, and uh, Ron, a solid performance uh, after some control problems right at the start. I had a problem tonight. I don't know what it was. I think whether it was uh, just being a little nervous or whether just trying too hard here in the park in my backyard. I think I was just trying too hard out there, and I pitched a lot better in the first game, but fortunately the results uh, were a little better this time. Well, as we uh, discussed on the pregame show 11 years ago, as a fan, you were uh, sitting in the bleachers in center field watching the Red Sox perform in the World Series. What did tonight mean to you? Well, it meant a lot because I got to pitch in front of all my friends I grew up with in high school and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, luckily, I only let one of the balls go off the wall tonight, but uh, it was just a great thrill for me. Was there uh, any dream sequence the night before of what might happen, positive or negative, pitching here at Fenway for the first time? Well, I was hoping to go nine innings and just get the victory, but uh, with all the guys that walked out there, seven innings was enough, I guess, and thank God Jesse picked us up. But uh, I just wanted to have a good outing here, and, and hopefully our team would win to tie it up. All right, your battery mate, uh, Gary Carter, has been Mr. Clutch. Two home runs tonight.